The Story of Leif and Jeanette, Part 20. <clears throat> when I was preparing to hike to Trolltunga on March 18th, 2018, you must understand that for several months, as I was creating the tiles of Jeanette Beresos, there was a growing sense that Jeanette was interested in more than a social media friendship, and I wanted a real friendship with her. The growing desire we both had is what led me to ask her if I could give her the tiles I had created of her. I was also creating tiles for a gallery in Lofoten. That was a definite reason for me to make a March trip to Norway. But of course, I was hoping that Jeanette would say yes, she wanted to meet me. I was not betting on Jeanette saying yes. So I purchased my plane ticket before I asked her. I had never been to Norway in any other month but September. So to go in March was also very exciting. And I had reached a point where I was making enough money and where I had saved enough money where I felt comfortable taking, for the very first time, taking an extra trip to Norway as well. Uh, that extra uh, freedom that I felt like I had also allowed me to create the tiles for the gallery in Lofoten because I had been going to Lofoten for several years and uh, my cousin lived there who introduced me to, to Lofoten. I met some of her, uh, the, the husband, of her children, I met some of his family. I had, I had made friends with them, uh, even though their uh, my cousin's relationship with him ended. I still remained friends with with uh, people in in Stamsund and the surrounding areas near Stamsund. And uh, I was she, I was I was introduced to a to a ceramic artist by one of these friends. Uh, so I had been creative creatively interacting. Um, and and I had met with this one of these families in Lofoten, and I uh, she showed me her gallery, and um, this led um, to me for me to create these tiles um, uh, for this gallery in Lofoten. There was there was there were these seashell soap dishes uh, that I had made. Uh, after I had met with, with the woman in Lofoten who, who uh, owned the gallery with her husband, um, she, uh, she sent me pictures of uh, creatively inspiring me to think of these soap dishes. Now, I was making the trip there in March. Um, one of the reasons it w was to deliver these soap dishes just for fun, basically. Believe it or not, well, for me, it would be fun to do something like that. After after all those years I had been working so hard, getting ready for my galleries, getting the art fairs going, managing employees, finishing orders. Um, it was like a trip to Disney World for me just to go and deliver tiles to a gallery in Norway as a gift to just to have in their gallery because that's exciting for me to have my... It, to have my tiles in a gallery in, in Norway, to give them to a gallery and not expecting to be paid is fun for me. Um, so uh, there are, you know, there's rules just like in the United States, there's rules for businesses to be paying money, um, uh, tax things that have that, you know, so a gift is a very, is a very confident um, possible uh, option for me as an artist, just to give something to somebody for fun. As Jeanette kept encouraging me, as I kept showing interest in her, taking new chances step by step, I had no fears or worries that she would say, she would say no when I asked her if I could deliver the tiles to her because I had these other plans. I gave her specific dates, Jeanette, I gave Jeanette specific dates when I would be arriving in Trondheim because I'd already bought my plane ticket. And I asked if I, uh, if I could deliver the tiles to her on this trip I was taking. I, t I told, 
uh, and, and keep in mind, I, I had been posting these tiles, these pictures of these tiles for a long time, and Jeanette had been liking them, as I've told in, in previous parts of the story. I told her I was coming to Norway to deliver the tiles to other locations and I had been posting that I had been posting on social media of the tiles that I'd been making for the gallery in Lofoten and the gift shop at the Polar Circle, Circle Visitor Center. Uh, Jeanette never liked any of these pictures of me creating these these tiles for these other galleries. So I never knew, I never, you know, I, I never had, it, it doesn't matter, but I never knew that Jeanette knew for a fact that I was making these tiles for these galleries in, in the other parts of Norway. But I, but I had to assume that she did because I was posting about myself making these tiles um, regularly as I was making them along with when I was making the tiles uh, of Jeanette. So it was, it was obvious that I was, and I, and, you know, that, that I was gathering all these different tiles for these different ventures, these different, um, tr uh, these different excursions, these trips to these different parts in Norway I was planning on visiting. But Jeanette never liked any of those posts. So, you know, it doesn't really matter, but she just didn't like them. So when I sent her the message telling her I was going to these other places, um, I knew that I'd been posting about them, you know, whether or not, whether or not she saw that I had been making these other tiles doesn't really matter, but it, but it, but it, but it, but it's a, it's a possibility that she, she probably saw that I was making these other tiles, but she never acknowledged it, which is fine. Doesn't matter. But, it, but, it, but, it, but, it, but, it, but, but as I'm telling the story, it kind of, it, it kind of, um, it kind of, uh, in, it kind of, it kind of shows, it shows why when I gave, when I met Jeanette for the first time, which I've told in previous parts of the story, and she encouraged me and she didn't want to, and she didn't, and she very nonchalantly didn't want to necessarily, didn't want to, didn't, she told me, you know, she'd get the tiles later, you know. Um, and we all knew, we knew that Jeanette, she was going on this trip up into northern Norway. So by her telling me that she'd get the tiles later in a very casual way that made, and after our very, uh, very positive, very exciting meeting together. Um, it, I, I had a very relaxed feeling when she said that she would get the tiles later. So, um, so as I tell the story here, you'll see that uh, that I chose to stay in Oda and give the tiles to Jeanette when I had planned to go to these other parts of Norway to deliver tiles as well. So I, I, I was planning on just swinging into Oda, meet, meeting Jeanette, giving her the tiles, very, very, uh, very little pressure. I wasn't planning on hanging out in Oda this entire time. And then I, and then I went, and then I was planning on going up to the north. Uh, so, so, so my, my plans that I had created were, had be, became dependent on what Jeanette, how, you know, because I wasn't going to just, I'm not, I wasn't going to leave without giving Jeanette the tiles. Um, so my plans became very centered around what Jeanette was doing uh, when she knew that I was going to these other, she probably knew that I was going, that I had plans to go to these other places to deliver these tiles. But there was this sense that she wanted to keep me in Oda because, you know, she could have just accepted the tiles right away. Um, and then, and then I would have gone about, I would have, but, but, but she didn't want me to stay. She didn't want me to go. She wanted me to stay probably because she didn't want me to go and deliver the other tiles. She, uh, but I'll tell the part of the story. She wanted me to stay in Oda, um, because she was entertaining the, the possibility that I, that I was seriously interested in her. 